So let's inspect this deck on this house. And it's a two layer deck. And the way I start is from the bottom up, just the way it was constructed. So I'm gonna get underneath the deck and take a look at the deck structure from underneath and work my way up. Let's go. All right, so I'm under the deck on the ground floor and I'm taking a look at the structure. Uh, I can't see the footings because they're buried underground, but the posts are huge, they're masonry. And I'm gonna take a look at the floor joists above me, two by eights. I'm gonna look for notches or cuts or damage. I'm gonna see how they're attached to the band rim joist on the outer edge of the deck that's resting on the posts. The beam is resting on the posts. And I'm gonna take a look at the span of the floor joist. I'm gonna take a look to see how the joists are attached to the ledger board. I'm gonna take a look at the ledger board, see how that's attached to the house structure and look for flashing. All right, let's do it. So again, these posts, masonry, can't see the footings. No way. I'm not responsible for anything that's buried. I can't see it, can't report upon it. And then the beam above is supported by the masonry posts and the floor joists are resting on a two by two ledger board and it's fastened with three nails right underneath each floor joist that rests on the beam. And I see the stringers of the stairs and the stairs are resting on a piece of pressure treated wood. This is all PT pressure treated wood that I see. So that's good. So this is the beam structure. It's two two by tens resting fully on the post. So that's great. And a two by two ledger and the joist hangers, uh, joists are hanging, resting upon this ledger. And they span across this distance and uh, attach to the ledger board of the house. So this is really great. I see a lot of bolts almost in every bay. And now I'm going to take a look for trip hazards as you approach the deck. So there's a sidewalk, a landing, a few steps with a handrail, and the walk into the entry. And I don't see any trip hazards. And it's a good way to just inspect it by walking it. And then the floor joists and the floorboards. They're in pretty good shape with some of the fasteners coming up a little bit, but that's pretty minor. Now the handrails and guards. Technically, this handrail isn't grippable. You want a handrail to be a graspable thing. So it's non-standard. You want to measure or check, you don't have to measure if you're a home inspector, the height of the guard this is a guard from the top to the floor surface and the space between the spindles of the guard. You don't want it to be large enough for a child to fall through. And then you can take measurements on the guard on the stairs as well. You don't want large openings. And on a guard, you want to be able to push it down and out with a, a load. So this is strong and out is strong. It used to be in any direction. So this feels good. This feels good. I'll just go around and do a random grab and push of the spindles. So that looks good. Now, if I wanted to take some measurements of the open spaces and the height of the rail and the steps and treads and things like that, I could do that as well. And I'll do it with my app.
where the deck meets the house wall, I want to make sure that there's some kind of flashing. It looks like there is. At the very bottom of this siding material, there's a piece of flashing here. But again, I really can't see anything. I can't report upon things that I can't see very well. And I'm also looking for wood rot on the load bearing components, on any component really. And you can use a, a screwdriver and listen. And the front deck has a GFCI with a weather cover on it. And I'll test it with my GFCI tester. Good. Okay, we're on the second floor deck and my inspection is limited because the floor structure is uh, covered up. From underneath, I couldn't see anything. And here, it's a bit limited. And above me, all of this is finished really well. So I can't really see the structure above, the roof structure. So I'll just report upon things that I observe. Looking for wood rot, looking for space between the spindles, looking at the floor condition, the floorboards and the flashing, and the height of the guard. Now I'll give it a, a little push down and out. And up here, it looks in pretty good shape. I don't see any indications of major defects while inspecting the deck from the underground, from the first floor, and from the upper deck. There's also a deck on the rear of the house, small deck. So I'll take a look using the same procedures, starting from underneath. And what I noticed though, um, while walking the stairs is that this step at the very top is different from the rest. And this bottom step is very high. So this one's very high and this one's very short. I'll take a measurement of each, but that's a bit of a trip hazard. And then as I was walking around, I noticed we have a little bit of plant growth. Um, so there, there's some moisture and probably some wood rot and those little guys love to grow where it's wet and rotten. And also um, the space between the spindles, I can eye it up. This is gonna be a little bit too big. But I'll take a look at the height of the guard as well. And I can't get underneath the deck. So this is a little crawl space area accessible from inside. The stairs are resting, the stringers are resting on concrete. That's good, but that first step is a little high. and I see a GFCI outlet on the back, accessible from the deck. And there isn't a second floor deck, that's the house there. So a couple things on this back deck. So at that wood rod area, I'll take a look at the underside of the deck. And under the deck, I'm not sure why they did this, but there's plastic under the floorboards and it's holding moisture. So that's why we have some wood rot here possibly and some other deteriorated wood here. I don't think they need that plastic. All right, that was a deck inspection. Hope you enjoyed it. We found some defects so our client can start fixing a few things on the deck, but overall, not bad. Hope you enjoyed the deck inspection. Catch you next time on the next inspection.